concerns. Hopefully, his will work. Uh, no, yeah, I'm curious to learn more yeah. about Putin Bay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at Brian, man. He's got oh, he's a, he's got a green screen going on there. Oh, How you doing, man? man? He's churching it up this morning. Yeah. Can you hear um, us? Can you hear us, brother? I can hear you good. Oh, oh, awesome. You Fantastic. <laughs> cool, man. I love the green screen, man. I love I love what you got on your head. Man, there he's too, on man. it. Yeah, he's like he's I, like a rock star. Wow. I, I thought the sunglasses would be I can't see anything with them, so I'm glad I don't have to move my mouth around. <laughs> You're just trying to be like the tiki man. We understand. No, no, no. <laughs> but no the I wanted to get I wanted to get ready for the summer I put him back. Boy, I tell you, you know, you have been uh busy, man. I, I mean I see new artists popping up all the time that's added to an event here or there, whatever. I, actually it's kinda hard to keep up with you sometimes, you know, because you got all this stuff going on, but uh uh, Lake Fest at Putin Bay. Uh, what is it? June 9th through the twelfth, right? Correct. Correct. And um, that's the original lineup that's back there in the back of you. Has anything been had changed with that lineup? Is it still the same? No, we're it, that is the that is the lineup. The only one that we had added about oh maybe a couple of months ago mm-hmm. was Johnny Rustler in the Beach Bum Band. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I've, I've kind of become good friends with him, and we were chatting one day, and he says, you know, I've never played in Putin Bay. It's on my bucket list. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Let's see if you can, if we can get you in there, and, and mm-hmm. uh, we'll take care of that bucket list. Well, we've got a lot of listeners that live up that way that are all excited about Lake Fest. And, uh, you know, I, I know originally we talked about uh, B-Dog and Lou coming up and broadcasting it for you, but... Uh, you know, we still got Rick the Stick and uh, Jen Shin, you know, that uh, probably will be there, you know, and uh, check it out. Maybe do some interviews or whatever, you know, just walk around, do interviews with people and stuff like that. But it's too big of a an event not to be there. So we're, we're looking excited about it. How's it looking for uh, ticket sales? They're, they're doing well. They're doing well. Oh, good. Um, I can always use more, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm almost at the break-even point. So um, that makes me happy. <laughs> yes. Well, good. I know, right? It's so, uh, man. I, I you, listen. Uh, I commend you for doing this because it's it's a lot of just doing house concerts here or having an artist over for a a, a one night house concert stresses the hell out of me because I, you know, I I'm calling parrot heads I haven't talked to in ten years. Why ain't you over here? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I want it to be not for me. I want it to be a big event for the artist, right? Well, I, sure. I mean, yeah. you know, Absolutely. It's a yeah, lot of pressure. There, there'll be new people coming in to put in bay, uh, like myself, mm-hmm. a lot of newbies, and there'll be people that hadn't been there uh, for many years that are coming back to it, and they'll get to enjoy the resurrection of put in bay as a yeah. as a trop rock destination. Well, and I think that's kind of the go. I think you, you originally, whenever you started this this crazy idea of what you're doing, you were looking strategically at places uh, that you know where you could bring the music to that normally doesn't have an event, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and, and this one really wasn't on my radar. Um, Fred Wonder um, is the, the one that mentioned put in bay. And he said, you ought to see if you can do something up there. And then I started talking with Dennis King and yeah. and a few others and had yeah. an opportunity to meet with the Kaylees who had been running Flacking of the Faithful for, for so many years. And, and they were more than uh, than willing to offer any advice and tips and to help me be successful with it. And uh, so we will see how it goes in in uh, three weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. gosh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm I'm ready for the summer. I got my my pirate skull cap on and, and my sunglasses. I'm I ready. see it. Yeah. We we got back from Jamaica, and I was telling people it takes me two months to get ready for our big summer event here in July. And I was out there yesterday thinking, you know, I think it's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Don't blame you. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I stress out about it every year, and uh, I want it. It'll be 15 years for us having that party. But uh, so, tell us a little bit about Nashville. Uh, how's that going? Nashville is starting to get exciting. We we decided oh. to 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 go with it. Um, mm-hmm. No matter what the, the ticket per, tickets were going to be, and yeah. the tickets are starting to move up there, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. good. Uh, we had we had to make some commitments for some. Uh, for stage and for lighting and for generators and and all of that stuff so we decided let's go ahead and do it it's going to be a fun event and a lot of people in the area 
are getting excited. Um, I've seen the, the yeah. chit chat back and forth on Facebook. Um, I've gotten in with the, or on Facebook with uh, Shipwreck Cove restaurant that's there at Elm Hill Marina. Oh, um, and okay. They're posting some, uh, some information on it. Nope. And yesterday, um, had three or four tickets come in from that, so it's wow. it, it's it's starting to go, and I think that one's just that one's going to be a blast. Yeah, yeah, and I know B Dog and Lou will be there for that one, and uh, you know we've got Correct. that. Uh, I know you and I haven't talked about it, but they've told me that you and them have talked about it. So mm-hmm. uh, we went out and got the XKG nine thousand uh, wireless router for the radio station, oh, so wow. we don't have to worry about internet and all that stuff anymore. And uh, we used it down in Panama City; it worked beautifully. Uh, and if it'll work in in Panama City on the beach with the 500, uh, let's say, somewhat intoxicated pair of heads. Yeah, it'll be fine up there. And, and music blasting, then, uh, yeah, it should fi- be fine in Nashville. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I think it'll work well. Yeah, and that's exciting, uh, being able to, to yeah. interview the, the musicians when they're not playing. And, oh, and yeah. And guests that are there and let them, that they're having an opportunity to be on the radio. I, I, I'm just going to add the uh, the excitement level is going to increase and when is that event again july 16 from okay and it'll okay. be from about 10 30 in the morning until 11 o'clock at night <laughs> and then we'll have an after party at shipwreck cove with tim sharon oh uh, that'll be good that'll be nice yeah we had tim on the show not too long yeah, ago i uh, had, a, had a great conversation with him just about how to promote yourself and i mean that guy there is a uh, an excellent promoter of events you know and that's kind of what he teaches with his talent agent there mm-hmm. yeah and, and that we we talked back and forth a little bit and i got some information and some advice from him and and it definitely helped um cool the the word is getting out there cool man so that, uh, there'll, there'll be a lot of fun and and i'm starting to do some a, a summer concert series ticket giveaways for all of my events so except for lake fest this one's just too it's too close yeah. um, but starting with cincinnati uh this week uh if you go to sale and song my facebook page sale and song promotions mm-hmm. um see and find information on there uh, you like it you tag it with sale song cincy and tag a friend and you will get entered into a contest to win two VIP tickets. Oh, wow. Very nice. And and I'm going to do that with all of the events um, one month in advance of them. So as soon as Cincy, Cincy and and Nashville will be running concurrently. Is that the right word, concurrently? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sounds that, yeah. good. I was going to say, what does the VIP consist of now? Does that mean like Eric and Sunshine Lee is serving you wine? Oh, or wow. How does that work? I haven't even gotten that one. I'd have to. <laughs> I'd probably say if Josh, she had served me wine, I'd sign me up. Her, her, uh, her boyfriend Josh on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The VIP gives you access to everything that is happening at the music event, mm-hmm. and it will also include a two-hour open bar, maybe some uh, light hors d'oeuvres with uh, with the musicians. Uh, wow. Since Daddy, it will actually happen before. Um, Mike Nash and Joe Downing take the stage, so that could be kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, the, yeah. the rest of them will be usually on a Friday night, um, and they'll they'll have the opportunity to meet and meet some of the the musicians that are there and and get some autographs, chat with them, and and experience something that they haven't experienced in the past. Very cool. So we got uh, Cincy, we got uh, Putin Bay, Nashville, and then uh, Jacksonville. Right? Got another one out there. Yeah, they're Fort Lauderdale before the Jackson. Jacksonville will be the okay. last one. I knew I was forgetting one. Yeah. Uh, Ed, the train man, uh, is texting me. He's probably going to be in Putin Bay. But uh, anyway, so uh, how can people get uh, – you still you still obviously want to sell more tickets for uh, Lake Fest. Uh, well, so yeah. How can, they, how can they go get yeah. these tickets? They can get their t- – they could go to uh, saleandsongpromotions.com, mm-hmm. and all five of the events are – uh, on a page there, they just choose Lake Fest, and they'll see the ticket URL where they can go from there. They can see the lineup of the musicians that will be playing and all kinds of information there. Um, and if they go to, like I was saying earlier, if they go to my uh, Facebook page, Sale and Song Promotions, they can find information about the ticket giveaways for the VIP tickets. Cool. Uh, and, of course, uh, we have the commercial running out there all the time about Lake Fest and uh we will, uh, as soon as B-Dog and Lou get back into town this week, we're going to put together the 
uh, promotional thing to send over you for them being in Nashville. And we'll include the rest of them as well, along with Sale and okay. Song Promotion uh, website and all that's where people can sign up. Because the idea, you know, it'd be nice if everybody came to every one of them, but they don't have to. Oh, if no. You come to the one that's in your area and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Just come, all right? Just choose one and sure. come, right? But if you can come to all of Absolutely. them. You know, if you can go to one, you might want to come to all of them. You know, so I mean, you never know. Got to get to that. Got to get to that first one. There you go. There you go. Well, Brian, man, I, I really appreciate you being a, a friend of the radio station, and uh, we look forward to uh, continuing working with you in any way we can and getting the word out because I, I love what you're doing about spreading good music out there and, and bringing people together and uh, strategically picking these places where. People don't really have to travel that far if they're around in that area, though. You know, within a 200 mile radius, they can come and uh, check it out. Absolutely. And thank you for all that you're doing. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to let you fly and uh, let us know if there's anything else we can do, okay? All right. I wanted to give one shout out to Go, Beth sure. Travers. Of course. Hey, yeah, Beth's awesome. She's known as the rock star around here. <laughs> she is. What, what did you say? We missed that part. Uh, I, I think the first time that I was on your radio show, I was a little bit nervous, and, and it was um, Beth Sign and Dave Travers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. You know what? I've done the same damn thing. You know, I'm like, why can't they go by the same name? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I told her today that I would make sure that I called her Beth Travers. <laughs> well, yeah. Duh. <laughs> All right, and, buddy. Uh, and, and she will be at... She will be at almost every one of them. Dave will be at every event. Beth won't be in Jacksonville. She has oh, okay. a prior commitment. But yeah. she'll be, the two of them will be at all of the events. Very cool. Well, they're, they're both rock stars to us, and uh, we, we mm-hmm. appreciate uh, them being a friend of the radio station as well. We, and they're always coming through here and stopping in and saying hi. So uh, uh, I think it's really cool. Loyalty. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. Me too. I, and I'm a very loyal person as well. So. Mm-hmm. But uh, you let us know if there's anything else we can do to help, and uh, we'll go to work and uh, do it on this end for you, okay? All right. I appreciate it. See everybody at Lake Fest. There hey, you see go. you later, man. All right, brother. Take it easy, man. Bye-bye. See you. Sometimes I think about